Welcome back everyone to the Sinister Secret Assault Marsh where today we are looking into um, danger at Dunwater where there is a bit of rebellion with some lizard folk and High Shaman Kethund is beyond the gateway chanting some sort of incantation but the door into the temple is sealed with a pair of crests. An octopus crest and a snake crest. Hmm. All right. And then how about this way? And more officers. There you go. Done. Well, that requires a rune, and this seems to be locked on the other side anyway, so let us go this way. Now, is this helpful person? Deadly shaman. Well, I guess that answers that question. We have to deal with them one by one, I guess. And there you go, piece by piece. Next, let's see how thorough we can be here. Hmm. Oh, there is a restaurant right there. I'm sure that would be useful at some point. But I think we can do a little bit more exploring before we head out and do that. Let's see. This is Senior Officer's Quarters. Mm hmm Danger. All right. Maybe this... You can't see anything, can you? Really? All right, now can you? No, not not me. Me, my hireling. Buried deep in the bowl of fruit on the table is an iron key. Oh, okay. Oh, this is really. All right, now can you see something? Well, maybe he can see something, but I. <laughs> All right, that doesn't help all that much. Let's see, where are the odds that this is gonna set off a trap? Less likely than I thought. Oh. Chest in the middle of the floor with trap warnings all over the place. You know there is something nasty here. Oh! Okay, so he did spot the stuff. It's just that it was in a position for me to see it. Uh-huh. Well, then. I think I could... Actually, let's ask the cleric to stay here. And I'm just going to run through and see how well... Hey, can I quaff a... That looks like something that's going to give off a fire. Some fire. So how about if I see something in here that can help against fire? Nothing really. All right, then let's just run across and see what happens. Oh, well, hey. Oh, actually, that's a, uh, he doesn't have a disable lock skill. What? No, no disable traps. Oh, well. Hey, let, let's get out of here. Okay, so that's the nature of the trap. Okay, you could come along with me, and now let's get out of here. Now that we have sprung the trap, I was expecting a much worse trap there, but all right, fine. 
you know, it's all those alarms it was giving me. Ooh. All right. I'm going to take some gems. I don't want to spend all day working those down. Hmm. That seems to be like a nice, nasty group. Meaning nice, meaning not nice, of course. Okay. I, I feel like I'm slowed down or something. Hey, get rid of that. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Thank you. Ooh. Crest of the snake. Aha! Locked. Hey, can you unlock that? Thank you. Ooh, goggles of spell penetration. Well, not exactly the best thing I need. What is this? Bane and Doom. Well, that's all going to give us nice happy dealings. Let's take out a couple of those for good measure. Now, I think that we need to Oh, well, we don't need to head into here yet. Just have to put a pin on that one and head along to the next area. And about this away, we need, well, uh, we need to find the other item first. I hope that doesn't require the trial or anything like that, but I think the trial of knowledge is an optional purely. Hey! There you go. Oh, and you know, you... Oh, this thing, this is... 2d6 force damage on... Oh, that's the opening shot. Okay, I really need to know which skill is which. Okay, that's opening shot. That's the mark. That's the... I really should keep track of which... You can't use your skills effectively if you don't know which one is which. There you go. Next! This away. Hmm. We have here the Cave of Hungry Creatures. Well, that doesn't sound comfortable. I'm surprised there isn't a Porcullus here ready to. There could be one anyway. Crestbones littered this large cavern. Without warning, oversized crayfish burst up from below. They look hungry. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, of course, it's the... Not exactly easy to fight on this area. <sighs> oh. Starving crayfish. Okay, fine. We will just... Doing this way. Is that it? No, of course not. Voracious crayfish. So first we have the hungry ones, then the starving ones, then the voracious ones. I don't even know what the next set would be like. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, let's not worry about that little trinket. And instead, just open up the chest. Hmm. Death block built of stunning. I'm stunned. Well, I presume that the other crest must be in this direction. Hello. Can you tell me where I can find the other crest? 
Somehow he's not cooperating. Oh, that's right. We still have. Oh, this guy, huh? Now for you. Uh, and let's get rid of the pottery for good measure. Next! Hmm, this is a hatchery. Do they really want me to hurt the stuff in the hatchery? Okay, and now you, you, you die, you die, you die, you all die. Ah. Oh, it's just regular citizens. Alright, the citizens, they're just not caring. The octopus! Alright. Dozens of lizard folk eggs rest beyond this gate, safely locked away from harm. Alright, fine. I'm not going to worry about doing anything with that. And that means we just have the treasury left. A pseudo dragon. The pseudo dragon tells you about a treasury behind the locked gate, which only the high shaman has access to. Sounds ripe for a bit of adventuring. Hmm. The high shaman was here. Said, don't open gate for anyone but him. Said treasury was too important. Mm hmm. What should we do about it then? I crawl between the bars. I open the door. All right, sounds great. It's open. Now you. Okay. I thought that the suit drag was something that was either going to be information or in the way. I didn't think he was just going to help us. Especially considering the last pseudo dragon we ran into. We actually didn't do too much. Alright, there you go. This is the important treasure. Really? This is it? Easy! Yeah, right. Well, I guess it was just busting up everything. And now for the tricky bit. Place a snake. Place an octopus. Uh-oh. High Shaman Kefren and the other rebel leaders have met their end. Now to tell the lizard folk queen. Okay, I wasn't expecting a tamed claw foot to be here. But alright. Ah. A rune. Oh. What does this do? Return to the queen's caverns. Is, is this a shortcut? I hope. We have returned with a little help of a dimension door over here. Now, I still have three more officers to kill, so I presume that means this is not the end of the adventure. What does the queen need us to do now? Have you dealt with the High Shaman? Yes, the High Shaman is dead, as are many of his closest allies. Though I take no pleasure in the news, it does mean that my tribe will survive undivided. This brings me hope. Thank you, Softskin. I owe you an explanation for a situation now. At the very least, yes, what else is going on? Since before I was a hatchling, our tribe lived in the mighty fortress to the west of here. But then, in recent days, the Sahuagin came, bent on conquest, swimming up from the depths of the ocean. We tried to our best to resist, but their forces were stronger and their magic was greater. We had to flee our home. Fortunately for us, we had some the, we had somewhere to retreat to. This place. 
an old abandoned outpost of our people. Our retreat was humiliating, but I immediately began to organize a response to the invasion. After contacting several other tribes affected by the Sohuagin, ambassadors arrived here to discuss an alliance, but the rebellion prevented me from speaking with them. Hmm, that is certainly news. Since you seem to be capable, I would like to make a proposal to you. It is this. You and the town of Saltmarsh join with my tribe in an alliance against the Sohuagin invaders. Well, I think so. I'll have to see what the people of Saltmarsh think about it. We may have other allies as well. Just before the High Shaman rebelled, I invited three ambassadors from other tribes to here to negotiate. Perhaps together we can convince them that if we join together, we will be strong enough to fight the Sohuagin. Well, anyway, I think it would have been very appropriate if I had done Corthos instead of... Instead of Borderlands before coming here, because I think it would have been really fit with the Sohuagin theme here. But, I didn't think about that until now. Yes, defeating the Squawkin invasion is the best way to survive, and I'm sure Salt Marsh will be left alone that way. Okay. Splendid. Perhaps it is best if you are the one to negotiate with the three ambassadors. They are somewhat leery of lizard folk due to our culinary habits. You'll find the ambassadors of the Southern Ocean Cave inside the Eastern Caverns. While in the Eastern Caverns, I also ask you to search for the second-in-command, Sub-Chief Irtos. I have not heard from him since the rebellion began, and I fear the worst. Take care, for the rebels still hold much of the Eastern Cavern. All right, as far as I can tell, all the passageways out of here are sealed. I sent some of my most trusted followers to clear the doorways for you. Any doorway that was sealed by the High Shaman's rebels is now open to you. All right, I'll head to the Eastern Cavern, speak with the three ambassadors, and find Shabdit Irhos. Got it. The Queen Othokin says that the lizard folk are willing to ally with Saltmarsh, but first, she asks two favors of you: speak with the three ambassadors from other tribes, and rescue the captured subchief. Eartos. Well, that all seems to be quite a task to do, so I think we are going to say no at least. Near the cave entrance is a doorway that leads to the subchief's quarters. Uh, thanks for the information. And I shall follow up on that information and try to complete these tasks. I sent some of my most trusted followers to open the sealed doorways giving you access deeper inside the caves. And we'll do this in the next episode of The Sinister Secret of Saltmarsh.